even by South Florida standards, it is spectacular in Miami. 79 degrees, breezy, low humidity at the Orange Bowl as the Hurricanes of the University of Miami make their way through the smoke onto the field. And today, for the first time since 1971, they take on their new rivals in the Atlantic Coast Conference, the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest, ESPN College Football. With a big one for both the Deacons and the Hurricanes for College Football Saturday, presented by Crestor. The Deacons needing to win out to be bowl eligible, the Hurricanes needing to do so to be ACC champions. He played baseball. Dave expects some gritty, mean play today out of Wake Forest. And wasting no time going deep, Brock Berlin hangs one up, caught at the 35-yard line, Sonora's Moss. 42 yards on the first snap for the Hurricanes. And Moss was working against Swanson, in the backup corner, who's getting the start for Eric King. And Moss just runs right by him. Berlin severely underthrows this ball, but what a play in the air by Moss. And oh, by the way, a better career win percentage than either Jim Kelly or Bernie Kosar had here at Miami. Officially lost a four with a fumble, second and 14. Fake to Gore, another deep ball over the middle, perfectly thrown and caught by Roscoe Parrish. Three plays, touchdown, Hurricane. Roscoe, how fast can you run? He said, oh, 428 in the 40. Well, he uses all 428 of that speed, and he runs right by Marcus Magruder. Wake Forest already missing their star corner, Eric King. Yeah, that's a wake-up call for the secondary of Wake Forest. Two deep balls. First ball was underthrown by Berlin. This ball was thrown perfectly on the over-the-top post. Out since then with an Ian. Um, second and 17, play fake. Wide open, Kevin Everett, the tight end. Out of one tackle on the head of the 42-yard line and turns second and long into a game of 24 yards. Game last week with his 41st straight appearance in the lineup today. Gore with Ray. He stepped through a tackle out of bounds. Demon Deacon, 46-yard line. And Ryan Moore's battled injuries. Playing in just his fourth game, wide right. Well then again all day. Flips at the 20, down at the 18-yard line. They are uncoverable today. That's 22 yards for Moss. Berlin had hit his first four for 127 yards before that. To the goal line, again, wide open, and touchdown. Moss for 18 yards, his third catch. He has done major damage in the first five minutes here in the Orange Bowl today. Marcus Magruder lined up here, coming off the corner. It's basically a strong safety blitz, and he almost gets there, David. Yeah, he does almost get there, but this is a real dangerous defensive call. for here running, leading the league in rushing. From midfield, another keeper off the fake, and then a fumble. Recovered by Miami. Greg Freet at the 47-yard line. Wake had something brewing on that possession and Brandon Merriweather rips it loose on a promising game by Mark. First thing you have to teach a young quarterback is to put the ball away. It's waving all over the field. He's carrying it out. Nobody even touches him. He's so juiced up with adrenaline. He really forgot his basics in carrying the football. His father's a coach and his father taught him better than that. And so did Jim Grove. Nope. He didn't do anything. He just dropped the ball. On the play fake, Berlin. Why not go deep again? They haven't covered it yet. Diving catch by Parrish at the 26. Three. If they can take the big E spot, maybe in the Fiesta. Goal, off tackle. With the cut back inside the 10, and it's first and goal, Frank Gore. At the seven yard line, finally for out there by Brad White after 16 yards. Oh, they've been opening it up all day. Greg Olson, second tight end, motion for Gore off the left side. See there? Touchdown. 
You're not saying nothing about creative play calling, David? <laughs> Coker says best back he has been around except Barry Sanders. Coker, an Oklahoma State assistant in the 80s. Parrish having a big first quarter. As Berlin averages 220 total yards a game to lead the ACC. He's hit 190. There's still time to go in the first quarter, and that'll get him to 200 through the air. Kevin Everett, 11 yards. Any 337-pound former Marine is scary. Marines have missed three with a knee. Moss making the most of his series in place of Frank Gore dragging Gaddis 16 more yards. One more year for him, a junior. Caught from behind before he had a prayer getting to the corner by Leon Williams. Third and four. No chance. Barclay met by Wright and Thomas Carroll. Alton Wright, senior out of Houston. Which over the last four years has seen 19 players selected in the first round of the NFL draft, including Santana Moss, Ed Reed, Andre Johnson, Willis McGahee, despite the serious knee injury, Sean Taylor, Kellen Winslow, and on and on and on the list goes. And just for the sake of comparison, Larry Coker lost four first round picks from his defense alone last year. Wake Forest has had a total of three first-round draft picks in the history of their program. Frank Gore back at about three yards. High-impact players now on the pro level. On the swing, Roscoe Parrish with the spin move. And out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Total hurricane yards not yet midway in the second quarter. And Berlin on a second and five. Deep, wide open. Lance Leggett, the true freshman. Touchdown. 56 yards. Out of those nine games, they've won four, but they are in every single contest. We'll see if... They can manage to get back into this one so far. The third quarter not beginning well. Randolph brought down for loss by Romeo Davis. This time it's not Hester, the nation's number two punt returner back. It's Parrish. He's only 10th in the country. 15 yards per kick. Blocked. And rolling on the goal line. A scramble. Ends in a touchdown, Miami. Norris Moss. I'm telling you, Sonoris Moss had a big football game. And he takes it right off Plackemeyer's foot. That's the way you block a punch. You run through it. You do not dive and lay out. You run, you take it off his foot with your hands. Moss, one of this legion of great athletes on the Miami team. Rashawn Jones recovers in the end zone for the touchdown. John Petty makes it 35-7 Miami. Second. Berlin's season high. Certainly within reach. They start with Gore on the ground. Finally caught at the 41. <laughs> Or LSU, or USC. Berlin, right on target, Darnell Jenkins. Reverses field. Jenkins inside the 15. Jenkins finally pulled down inside the five. Patrick G saved the touchdown, 37 yards on the catch and run. Mostly the brilliant run by the sophomore from here in Miami. This is where it gets so difficult, not just for the Wake Forest coaches, but the Miami coaches. What do you call if you're Jim Grove? Do you load it up and try to stop that monster running attack? Or do you get in some zones so maybe you got a chance against the pass and you can't be right? From the 10. Ryan Moore wide left. The fade. 
perfectly by Brock Berlin. Another touchdown. That is four. Through the air for Berlin. And that is 41-7 Miami. The ball around and, and got the ball in the air quite a bit. That is an unbelievable number. 34-yarder, good off the foot of Petty. Bear in mind that in this offense, Berlin has completed passes to 14 different players this year, eight of whom are averaging 10 yards or more per catch. That's a, that's a mind-boggling. Go deeper. A team that lost a ton of talent last year. Four first-rounders off the defense alone. Six among the first 21 picks in the 2004 draft. Now, contrast that to a Wake Forest program that has had a total of three number one draft picks in their history. To a national audience. Well, I, mean, I, was a, I was a finesse quarterback, you know? On the roll, third and three with the pump fake. Gets himself some room. It gets some off balance. Wake Forest defenders and all the way to the 41-yard line of the Deacons. They don't mean to, and the coaches don't mean to, but nobody talks to you. <laughs> you're, just, you're just in there working out kind of by yourself. Put it to the third tight end, Buck Ortega. First catch, 27 yards to set up a first and goal at the two. Come on, Bill. Don't miss any of that. Johnson looks for the corner. Got a turn. Touchdown. Number 32. Andrew Johnson. Miami also has two weeks to prepare. I assure you, nobody wants to see this team if you got to play against them. They've got back to being really, really good on both sides of the ball. Number 13. Miami, 52, Wake Forest 7 on a career day for Brock Berlin. 361 yards, four touchdowns on 13 out of 19. Coming up next.